Hey guys, Midget here, and welcome to another episode of my Derby Career Mode. Today we are playing Blackpool, and I gotta say, Blackpool aren't really very good this season. They're around in you know, a 19th place, which is not good enough for a side of their quality. You know, you might say, you know, their players are one of the best in the league, and I, I, you know, I'll totally agree with you. Blackpool players aren't the best in the league. However, they should be doing better than 19th place since they was in the Premier League soon. Um, but I guess most of their players left, so that's alright. Here we start with Oviedo, and I love that guy right now. Um, Blackpool, obviously, the man in form is Tom Ince. Um, I know everybody wants him now, and I put him in my shortlist, but there was nothing really special about him, I guess. And we go straight in, and he Wisdom puts in a goal, bud goal, bud, good ball to Hendricks, and it's a 1-2, and Wisdom crosses it in, and Martin scores in the 8th minute. A brilliant, brilliant header. Um, it was well hit, you know, he, his strength was amazing there, but it was again the guy I was talking about, Tom Ince, you know, he should have been doing better, I know he's a kind of a weakling, but, in, you know, he should have really been doing better, and it's 1-0 to Derby County, and um, Blackpool have the first chance in the game in the 23rd minute, but he pulls it wide, how did Tyson pull that one on? wide, I don't know, but Legends restarts, and it's, Hendrick passes it on to Bryson, Bryson runs out of ideas, so he puts it through to Wisdom. Wisdom to Hughes. Hughes, you know, to Ward. Ward, like, oh my god, Ward through balls it to Martin. And this is basically straight after that shot. Um, Russell, that was an absolute horrendous um, header from Russell. But he's not for my heading abilities. It's more, Martin's more my heading abilities. He's my running abilities. But how did Martin not put that away? Um, I can't believe Jokes is... A very poor keeper in my opinion, um, but Russell manages to get the ball back with his pace. And this game was not really important, you know, I was first. 1-0 could do for me, to be honest, but um, I decided to go for, like, try and get more points. And here you see Ward just missed the target. And I thought these chances were going to, you know, fall to Blackburn or have one, Blackpool, sorry. And they're going to have one chance in score, however... Um, you'll see later in the episode if that happens. And here, Oviedo's shot was an absolute stunner. He is impressing me game by game. He's becoming a great, great player. Um, look at that. Look, that shot was absolutely amazing. Sorry about that. That was my Facebook. Um, I should really turn it off. But here you say, look, look. I was absolutely dominating this half. Um, three shots on target to their zero, which is you know fine for one goal, but eight shots isn't really good enough. Ings horrendous ball, and this gives Blackburn the Blackpool um, their first chance. However, it is offside. Um, Tom Ince, you know, not very pleased with that as we see here. He did a fabulous run, but he's offside by a little bit. You know, his leg was just sticking out over Keo's, and I hate when it's proper close. And not because of the fact it's offside. If it's offside, it's offside. But whether the refs in real life would give it if it's so close, you know, that's the point I'm angry about. And if I was Tom Ince, I would have some complaints. Not major complaints, but whatever. Here we see um, Cuts takes the ball from the Blackpool man. Um, Hendrick through balls it to Martin. Martin um, to Hendrick. Um, Ings over the top to Martin. And he gets his second header for 2-0 in the 90th minute. And he is becoming a monster. He's, he's slowly but surely becoming one of my favourite players, Martin. You know, he's not the fastest player, but he's definitely, um, what's the thing, the full striker, you know. I don't know what how you say it, and, and I don't care really. Um, see, we kept the pressure on Blackpool, didn't we? Just two shots in that whole game, Blackpool did. And it was one of the more boring games. And here, um, we reject managerial offer, and... I think Legend says he's deficient decision. It's been difficult, but I want to leave this football club, so I am gonna request a, to go on the transfer list. And I was like, "Oh, that's a big bummer," but you know, it's not. Well, the worst thing could happen. We do have Darlow, but I think Legends would want to be. Uh, I would want Legends to stay, and he might stay if I, you know, we qualify into the Premier League, which is gonna happen, I guess. Looking at the table that's on the left side of me now, um, we could potentially still go out um but not go further than third place which i don't i think i guess that what happens is with seven points behind more in front of third and i was scared i'm I, I don't know why i'm scared of that mcgoldrick guy from ripswich it's really weird but um i'm scared of mcgoldrick because he reminds me of jimmy kebe he's tall and he's strong and that's weird here you see he could have punished us but a great tackle from barker um 
and it results in the following corner, which doesn't end pretty well. I'm just kidding, you know, it's it's alright. Lee Grant starts this game for me as I thought, you know, why should I put play Legends if he wants to leave? I'm just going to, the person he goes to, I'm just going to give him extra ratings, you know. So I'd be like, I'm not playing him again. And then Grant puts in a great, great ball. In, I mean, Martin, sorry, uh, I think that's Ward um, over, well, through balls it to Russell. Russell over top through ball. And that volley, though, that volley from Martin was absolute phenomenal. I couldn't believe when I scored that. I was like, go on, son. And um, did anyone hear Andy Graver um, commentate over um, Gerard's goal against Olympic? No, it's Sturm Graz. Where he goes, what a beaut. No, he goes, what a hit, son. What a hit. That's basically what I was saying there. And I got kind of scared that you guys were thinking I'm using sliders. So I just showed you there that I don't use sliders. I went through all the... Um, stats and I it's all on 50 and then we could have doubled our lead um, but you know unfortunately Ings was not quick enough to get to that ball and the loach clears and then in the 36 minute um, Johnson go gets past Oviedo cross it into McGoldrick and he misses an open net <laughs> Mark Grant sorry should have really been doing better but he didn't and this would have actually gone in from Jackson if it was hit cleanly but it clipped Buxton shoe which you know just um, slowed it down a little and Grant was able to catch it and wisdom you know we were playing very wisely to be honest and here you see that Ipswich were all over me but I was the one leading which is like aids that I see all the time here you see Russell trying to get past the keeper and then he finally does it with this awkward shot that does hit the keeper and the keeper saves it initially then he, you know, he does a 118 Russell and then just puts it in with his foot. He bounces off the keeper as you see here. I love these kind of shots, those, but when they go in. But look at this. He just doesn't take a touch. He just shoots. It bounces off Loach and it goes in. So that's pretty confident going into this. But Hunt gets the ball. Um, a bank split. The former Wolverhampton man. 1-2 um, with Hunt. Hunt puts in a great ball. And I hate those type of goals from uh, the computer. Um, because... You know, look at look at a bank split. He wasn't doing too much harm, and then he just suddenly like, just like teleports towards it. And you see, I equaled out basically the shots here, so I was really dominant in this game. And so we carry on and go to the thing again. But Ben Davis isn't happy; wants to be sold. And Simon Dawkins is getting to the point where he's gonna um, get mad. So I offer, I'll try offering him Legends a new contract, but I've not got enough money. Um, so, I'm gonna uh, wait till the next season. I tried off from Martin one since he wanted one before, and I'm gonna wait till the next season. You know when I get a bit more transfer money. Uh, but here we go into the game against Charlton, which I was very confident for. You know, two wins and two um, on world class and all. So um, I, I was pretty, you know, um, confident. And um, I really don't like Sordell um, in this game. He, I don't know why. I've heard of him somewhere I don't really know um, about him too much but he's this like hidden beast in my opinion and Jackson uh, is in his final season for Charlton but this game was pretty boring you see there were seven shots in the whole half but they were nothing too special so I didn't show him and the first real chance Sodell says why he is this hidden gem by scoring a great goal you know great through ball and Great control and just lucky that it got past Legends, but a uh, very good goal. And then in the 57th minute, 1-2 from Martin and Russell. Martin, and the EA AIDS doesn't work for me. You know how all those like, goals from um, the computer work like that, but it doesn't work for me. And then Martin, you know, tries to over the top it for Russell, but it does not work. Look at that, that was horrendous. But then I win it in the 76th minute. Hughes has a good shot. But it gets saved, and then he comes back with another, and this time it goes in. So it gives us a glimmer of hope against Charlton. You know, um, I guess I never make the situation easy for myself, like conceding um, first. But then in the 80th minute, just four minutes later, um, Russell passes it through to Martin. Martin through balls it to Russell. And here I was like, shall I swat or shall I not? Shall I risk or shall I not? Let's go for it. And I score. The keeper doesn't even dive. I just... I literally held that button down for like half a second and that's about halfway um, on the power bar so I, I understand why the keeper didn't jump um, but uh, that kind of relieved me you know I was like oh thank goodness nothing bad will happen and the game ends 2-1 so um, 
although that Charlton had the upper hand, you know, and scored the first goal, we did come back like we always do, because we are Derby County, we completely dominated this game, and that's basically it, so hopefully you enjoyed this episode, guys, um, our next game is against Blackburn, and, you know, again, another player coming for wages, which I can't really accept, and, yeah, so, again, um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, guys, this one's Midget, and I'm going to see you guys next time.